But as promised, we're starting our vlog series, so get ready to meet our caller. He's, what do your callers sound like? Can I meet him? So here you go. All right, look forward to seeing you in a little while. Edwin here from Edwin Wholesale Call. What is the most asked question? How do your callers sound? Am I going to be able to meet them before I hire them or decide to hire them? Introducing you to our callers here on YouTube. Get your popcorn, get a drink, and get ready because I'm bringing it to you. Welcome to Edwin Wholesale Call, our YouTube channel. I have Ann and Riza here, and what they're going to do is they are they're cold callers for us. They've both been with, with Edwin Wholesale Call for quite a while. They both had deals for where they were able to close the deals. So they're, they're seasoned callers. Biggest question I'm getting is can I hear their voices and um, how do they sound? And so we're gonna present that to you. And so we're gonna start here. I'm just gonna ask them a few questions about themselves. And then when we get to the end of, the, the end of this, they're gonna go ahead and, and read from the script, okay? So stick around for that. <laughs> So I wanted to ask you um, some questions here. You guys watching the video are going to be able to see the questions I'm asking them. So you can see them on the left side under Anne. The questions just popped up there. Why do you guys like making the calls and how have you lasted so long? Either of you can go first. Um, why do you like making the calls for Edwin Wholesale Call and you know with the wholesale campaigns and how have you lasted so long? Whoever wants to take it first. Well, um, why am I making calls? Maybe because it's already part of my system because I've worked with the industry for quite some time now, for almost 11, 12 years. Wow. So, yeah, and yeah, because if I don't work, it's like there's something missing in me. So <laughs> that's why it's already part of my system. Yeah. And the reason why I lasted is because I love what I'm doing. I love my company now, especially I'm working at a home. So I love being part of Edwin Wholesale Call. Awesome. Awesome, Riza. Thank you. I think Anne's going to pipe in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, why am I making calls and why, ha you know, why I last so long? Actually, yeah, I've been working in a call center for six years now and uh, I like challenges, I can say, you know, starting a conversation to a complete stranger is never easy. Um, but it forced me to develop skills that I would never have tried on my own. And it's hard, but it motivates me. And I love what I'm doing and the company as well. They're so helpful. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I know you yes. guys have a number yes. of campaigns. Um, and you, you follow the um, the four pillars, which is yes. which is awesome. So you guys are really good at qualifying the homeowners, which is awesome. Your leads are really good. The ones that you guys, the positive leads, the ones you're able to get for the campaigns. And, um, and I'm going to ask this in kind of a different way. Um, you know, the American campaigns, you know, before there were Filipino callers, um, there was American callers, and a lot of the campaigns, the wholesale real estate campaigns, were making the calls themselves before when they first started, and then they knew how it worked and everything, and then they would, like Brent, he hired me as a caller, and I'm American, of course, so how do you guys, I mean, because a lot of people compare you to American callers and they they want Filipinos to sound have a nice quality of voice but it's even fair to compare you to the American callers anybody can take that question it's a hard question to answer I think but um what do you think about that well, you can go first and <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but us Filipino we are so passionate we work hard we're not you know we're not doing this just to have work but we do this because we love to 
Uh, we also care for our clients, uh, so we always do our best so they'll be satisfied with the work that we are providing them. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you, Anne. Risa, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I think for us Filipinos, we work with, for one, with integrity. Yeah, and uh, second, we work with passion. We love what we do. We give our best in everything that we do. Um, because we, since we love what we do, um, it's easy for us to make friends with our clients. Just like what I just like what I met uh, yesterday, I think, or I think this morning, um, he said, ah, uh, oh, you're such an angel because you understand me, you know what I'm going through. And then he even cried because his mother died. His mother just passed away. And so I know what he's feeling right now. So I said, yeah, I'm so sorry because my I, I know where you're coming from because my mom just passed also. Um, I know how it feels. I know how hard it is to to lose a mom. And then he started crying. And then um, after that conversation, I felt like, oh, I, I found a friend in him. <laughs> it's <laughs> just because that, um, yeah, because um, I, I felt a connection with, with my client, uh, with my lead. And then after that conversation, he kept on sending me pictures of his mom and him and with with uh, with his family so yeah it's easy for us to communicate more maybe because of the things that we are going through and then he said yeah he is interested in selling his property and from there we built a, a connection and it started from there wow that's awesome yeah because really when i when i first um started you know this this idea and then started hiring people what I had in mind was just, I thought the, the Filipinos could, are so good at collecting the data and, and um, doing it in a skillful way, like not like an interrogation. They're not like interrogating someone, they're asking the questions. But I found that some of the callers are able to, just like Riza just said there, they're able to connect with the person they're talking to. Like they will give an empathetic statement, like, and not like trying so hard to give an empathetic statement. And I didn't expect that would ever happen with any of our callers. And so that's a that's a bonus. And I noticed that the, the Filipinos can do that because what I know you guys don't want to compare yourself to Americans, but people in America, when I talk to them, sometimes they say, um, well, that's they they cannot connect in an empathetic way with the Americans like an American would. And and I say, yeah, that maybe that's true because the American culture is different. But you would be surprised how good the Filipinos are on the phone and, and quite often they can connect with them um, because they've had similar things happen. We're all human. It's not, you know, there's Filipinos and then there's Americans and then people say we're slave to our culture, which might be true, but we're all human beings first. Well, thank you both for that, for your answers um, with that question. Let me ask you, um, this is a good one. I'm going to reword this though. Instead of asking what are some of the challenges for living in the Philippines, because everything's a challenge here. Um, what? Let's compare this. Like you're working from home now, both of you. Um, when you went to the call centers, like you had to work there, like Monday, I think through Friday, sometimes a yeah. weekend. I don't know, but mostly Monday through Fridays in the call center. And you're working all night, just like you are from home. So you're used to it, but. How did you even get to work? I mean, because in America, most most people have a car, and they're able to travel. If they're if they're not working from home, they're and they work in an office, they're able to travel usually by by a car, and it's not they might have traffic, but it's not so difficult usually, and they're able to just go to and from work. Um, how did you guys get go to work and then get home? How either of you can start with that. Yeah. Well, um, before when I was working with Chase in BGC, I, I, I a lot three to four hours, as I mentioned a while ago. I used the public utility, uh, public utility vehicle, which is we call it here the UV Express, or to some they they use the jeepney. I'm not sure if you are familiar with Jimmy here in Manila. And then 
um, it takes for about to do um, an hour to two hours for me to get to one point to another and then after taking that public utility vehicle I I use the train going to Makati and then after the train I take the bus going to BGC so yeah it takes it, it takes for me I think three to four rides before going to work wow that's, or before I can get there that's crazy and so then coming home would be the same way in a jeepney I think a lot of Americans don't know what that is some might if they've been to the Philippines but um, I, jeepneys are just transportation uh, Filipinos will take usually in the in the city that they're in there'll be jeepneys and and then if they take a jeepney sometimes they have to they're usually really crowded in the cities and um, it's like you're you're kind of cramped in with people and everybody jumps in on there and they're really kind of colorful the jeepneys but mm -hmm. um yeah I wrote I've ridden on them so many times because I used to when I worked in the call centers I took a jeepney to work and um, I didn't have a car when I when I first started doing that and um, yeah and it's just it's different it's a different way to get to work but then you were taking other transportations besides that which is which is nuts so okay um, thanks Teresa and and Ann, um, what about you uh, yeah before when I was still working with an office based company in Makati I need to wait you know 30 minutes just to get um, a boss to go to work and that it will like it will took me three hours just to get there and here in the Philippines the traffic is so unpredictable it's so stressful it's so tiring so luckily I was able to find a home-based job which Risa referred me and yeah yeah, and then it changes from there. Awesome. It's really different. Yeah, yeah, it's really different. Yeah, and you know, these two callers, these two people have been with me for quite a while, and they're just, they make their campaign so happy. Um, right now, we're on hold status um, because of the holidays. And um, also, what I'm going to say, before they read the, the script, the callers have their script open, um, when they're making calls, they have their script open, just like I did when I all the time I worked for Brent and be, and after I worked for Brent and then before I worked for Brent, I always had my script open, and then I'm looking at the script and I'm no matter what I'm doing, I'm looking at the script when I'm I'm using it as a reference, and the callers are are taught that too, so they're gonna do that for you. And before we do this, though, I want you to if you haven't already, if it's your first time visiting our channel here subscribe to our channel and then don't forget to click the bell because you'll be notified when I release videos every week um, okay so that being said let's go into the script I'll be the homeowner and you could be the caller just like you do your calls okay so whenever you're ready I'm ready boss okay ring 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 <laughs> hello Hello, I'm looking for Ed. Uh, yeah, this is Ed. Oh, yes, hi, Ed. This is Anne. I know this call is out of the blue, but I was calling about a property I believe you own on Elm Street in Yukaipa. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my property. What, what about it? Great. I just wanted to see if you would consider an offer on your property there. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I would. I've been thinking about it for a while. Absolutely. Oh, okay, great. Uh, well, just so you know, Ed, uh, we purchase properties cash. We pay all the closing costs and there are no real, uh, real estate commissions. And the best part is we buy them completely as is. So you don't have to put another cent into the property. So for an offer like that, how much would you like to take? Mm, 250000 but... That was great. That's good. That's good, Anne. You're you're Thank awesome. You. I love it. Thank you, boss. As promised, we waited. We're at the end here, and Anne just did a reading of the TTP script. That's how they're trained on that. And now Reza is going to do a similar script, but it doesn't. It's a little different. Um, it's a variation, and um, so we'll go into that. And we do we do these scripts. Um, if you like either of these scripts. 
or we can do another script. Some people like us to use a script that they use, but most people like the TTP script because most people from the TTP, from Brent Daniels, um, students of Brent Daniels. So, okay, so we'll go to Riza. Okay. Riza. So, All right. so whenever you're ready. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> okay, um, ring, 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 ring. Hi. Hi, I'm trying to get in contact with Edwin. Um, yeah, this is this is Edwin. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Edwin. This is Riza. I know this call is completely out of the blue, but I was calling about a home I believe you own on Elm Street. Um, yeah, I own a couple there. Which which one are you calling about? The one at two two five Elm Street. Edwin? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, there. That's one of them. Well, I'm actually looking to buy a home in your neighborhood and wanted to see if you ever thought about selling it. Um, is it a cash offer or something? Is that what you're calling about? Yes, Edwin. Just wanted to confirm some things. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Is that correct? Um, the other one's four, mm -hmm. two. So you said three, two on this one, right? Three. Yes. Yeah, yep. Yep, I do. Okay, great. And also, I'm seeing that it is around 1,500 square feet. Am I correct? Um, yeah, it's it's about um, around 1,800 square feet, I think. It might. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I've done some add-ons or whatever. Okay, great. And okay, so because right now in your area we are buying homes for 320 thousand. Is that something you're interested in? Oh, 300, around 320,000? Mm-hmm. Um, 320, I'm just trying to think. So, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, let me talk to my wife about it. Great job, Riza. Great job. Okay, thank you. I'm going to just stop you there. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Um, We could either do a price range or a straight number like she just did right there. It just depends on the campaign. It could be some campaigns are like 50% of the Zestimate. Some campaigns are like 60 or 65 percent. We can we can make an offer, but I would really suggest, and we either can give a price offer, um, or we don't. So option one is we're buying homes similar years for just like what you said, Risa. Or the option two is we don't. Some people don't want us to give offers, which I probably it's calling the person on the first time. It might be good just to see if they're interested. And then the positive leads, like the yes and maybe leads, um, we'll turn those in and then let the campaigns make the the offer. So those are the scripts there. Just a couple options there. So that's awesome. You guys did great. Appreciate that. Um, I thank you both because I know you're tired and you're going to be making calls in a few hours. So thank you very much. Um, reason thank you and, so much, boss. And... Um, I guess we'll just say we'll say bye to the 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 American <laughs> the American people coming watching us and also the Filipinos because hopefully Filipinos yeah, Filipinos right <laughs> Filipinos that are looking that that have experience that are looking for work we love to have them and I love to train them if they're qualified so bye bye bye, <laughs> bye guys please like and subscribe to <laughs> our channel.